day 15 and I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video on budgeting as a sailor oh that's right it's on my patreon account only so if you're interested in the money part which I seem to be not I seem you all seem to be more interested in the money aspect of sailing than anything you have to go over there to find that today I'm gonna finally talk about the the work rest hours on how this crazy schedule of mine works so we left Dutch Dutch Harbor yesterday and I assume you've been following along between the past like three days you know we've been leaving the port around 10 o'clock 11 o'clock at night and I'm not getting off till around you know midnight well I have to then catch two or three hours of sleep to go back on watch at 345 in the morning and some of you might think or wonder how is that possible well, I keep mentioning the work rest hours, and I have the best explanation of it that I could possibly get. I went up the chain of command as second mate, chief mate, captain, and pretty much no one really seems to understand how it's exactly determined because when the work rest hours with uh, the CFRs or the, I the ICFs or something, uh, the STCW work rest hour regulations came into effect. They put in this like program. I think that's where the ICF comes in. But they put in this like program where it just does it all for you. You go in, you sign into the program, and you it has your your set hours that you're supposed to be working. For me, it's the four to eight watch. 4 a.m. to 8 a.m., 1600 to 2000, and those are already preset. And then it has like a column of boxes for the rest of the hours in a day. And you kind of just fill in these boxes, and you know, where you're working those overtime hours, doing undocking or maintenance or whatever. Uh, and if you're in the engine room, you know, whatever overtime you're doing then. Even, even the engine department has to do it. My lady's texting me. But, uh, it's, I was, I've been trying to figure it out because, like I said, I've been getting off at like midnight, only getting like three hours off until I go back to watch again. And then, basically I can't work my overtime the next day because I need more rest hours. But then again, there's times where like I can work, so you know, a couple hours, but then not in the evening. You know, the best way it was described to me is so. <laughs> I should mention this first. The STCWs require a watchstander, engine, engine or deck, a watchstander to have 10 hours of rest in a 24 hour period and at least six hours of those have to be continuous within one week i think you have to have a total of 77 hours total rest hours but in a 24 hour period you need 10 and six of them continuous and then the other can be four hours or two two hours or whatever and then if for any reason you have to break it up more than that, there has to be a legitimate reason. Like a emergency happening, you know, a fire or something happening where it constitutes, okay, this is why this person couldn't rest. But the work rest hour, the rest hours are not, it's not determined at a set time. So, you know, like my my work, my my day, 
my shift starts at 4 a.m. But that's not when my 24 hours starts. The 24 hours doesn't start at midnight. It doesn't start at noon. It starts, it's the best way everyone explained it was it's a 24 hour period that's complete, that's always sliding. So when we go to input it into this program, it's any 24 hour period on that hour. So it can start at any hour from the moment you work to the moment you get off work. What is that banging? Any, any hour from when you work to when you're not working, if you get off at, you know, midnight, starting right then, you know, like me, we'll say this, okay, for me, I got off at midnight, I had to be at work at 4 a.m., well, it started right there at midnight, I only had four hours off, which means, you know, I went to watch at... Uh, 4 a.m. got off at 8 I was able to work 8 to 10 because between 10 and then 4 p.m. is six hour window of rest well now say we worked until I, I worked until 2 a.m. then now it shifts over that 24 hour period shifts over and I wouldn't have been able to work the 8 to 10 a.m. Because I need that 10 hours in the day. There's no emergency reason for me not to. So basically if I worked till 2 a.m. and I had to go back to work at 4, that would have only been 2 hours. So 4 to 8. Now from 8 a.m. till 4 p.m is another eight hours to account for the 10 the 2 to 4 a.m two hours 8 to 4 during the day for another eight hours there needs to be t at least 10 there has to be 10 hours and it's just at least one of them has to be six hours continuous rest which Even if we were mooring, doing docking or undocking, they could technically say that's a necessity and call me out. But I guess, you know, the Coast Guard and whatever, they've really started cracking down on companies to make sure guys are getting their proper 10 hours of rest in a day, at least six continuous. Um, I really hope that explained it. <laughs> Like I said, I went around asking the mates, the captain, and everyone just pretty much says like, hey, if you're red, you're red. And it's, when you input it in the hours, it, it'll, it'll show you, like if I input today on the 9th, and I put too many hours in, tomorrow on the calendar, the 10th will just become red. And so, I have to continuously go in and input my hours and kind of predict when I'm gonna work to know if I'm gonna work the next day or if I can even work the next day. Or if, you know, I can't work today, it's, it's a continuous input into this program and it's a hassle. My last ship, I didn't have to do it because we were 12 on, 12 off. And so that's, you know, 12 hours of rest in any given day. This this ship, the constant cargo operations going on, we have to, you know, the schedule is not determined. Even when we think we're going into port at a certain time, we might not be there at that time or be leaving at that time. Something could go wrong, the crane could break down, you know. So we have to constantly be predicting when our hours are gonna be to know when we can work. And when we work isn't something that we can quite necessarily determine. So the rest hours that I get is by no means a set schedule anymore at all. I really hope that 
helped or you know you enjoyed it hit that subscribe button like comment share I I really didn't get much of Dutch Harbor you know we we're only there for like six hours so you know I got a couple pictures and uh, kind of uh, not not the best video of when we we're in the in port we're almost like just on a rocky mountainside but I'll tell you what if you've never seen Hawaii you know from afar you know I've seen it from the cruise ship or if you've seen it flying into Hawaii where you just see like these rolling mountains of green and it's just beautiful looking I guess it's like that in Dutch Harbor in the summer but when we were pulling up it was I opened up my window and it was like the Hawaiian Islands got covered in snow it was just mountains and mountains of snow all the way around us or from everywhere I was viewing so I took a couple pictures I'll probably just use it for the thumbnail and the end so enjoy uh, thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one